Okay, gentlemen, chunks are good on both sides. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you, keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Gonna sweat them. Star referee in Kenny Bayless, Hall of Fame announcer, of course, in Jimmy Lennon Jr., Hall of Fame trainer with us, Freddie Roach, who looks after this featherweight whirlwind, Mark Magsayo, 26 years old, part of the Manny Packet. How good is he? He's in with the well-established, very accomplished Mexican Julio Cesar Ceja, who's been an excellent campaigner amongst the lighter weights over the last 12 years or so. We remember him for his trip to Doncaster many years ago against Jamie McDonnell. He's the former WBC super bantamweight champion. And oh, how good shot. about that for a start from Max Sayo. Well, we wanted something special. And we might just get it within the opening 30 seconds. Julio Seja on his backside. And Maxayo exploding into this one. Biggest test of his life. And he has started on a mission here. Firing in body shots as well. And Manny Pacquiao watching his compatriot backstage. Pacquiao... Maxaya's hero, who he's looked up to his whole life, and now he's performing for him in part of the same stable. And Seha is a good fighter at 28, a former world champion, but in a whole heap of trouble in this opener. I mean, that was a brilliant shot. He just fainted the jab, turned it into a left hook, and Seha didn't see the shot coming. Beautiful left hook, bang on the chin, and he went down, but... I think the head is cleared now for Seha. Caught cold a little bit, but it, you know, it was a fantastic left hook, lead left hook from Max Seho. Absolute dream start from him. Misses there with the uppercut. Max Seho. Is he the next coming from the Philippines? 22 and 0, as you can see from the statistics, 15 knockouts, and say so has done well to just get himself back into this first round. Yeah, I think, you know, it was more of a flash knockdown than anything. I don't think he was badly shaken by it. It was just caught a little bit cold, a shot he didn't see, he fainted the jab, leaded with a, you know, led with the left hook, caught him with good knockdown. Well, I think, you know, Seha, certainly his head is cleared now and he's, you know, landed some good shots himself here, particularly the left hooks to the body. Got to the nose, though, from Seha. On the canvas. And a stunning opener for Magsayo. 10-8 round. Yeah, good body shot there, though, from Seha, just to remind... Maxeo. Very quick, cute left hook. Yeah, just leaned in as if he was going to step in with the jab, and then the last minute just switched it, turned it into a left hook. And uh, Seha didn't see it. Flash knocked down, though, he was okay. And, uh, you know, good round. Good round for Max Seho, but Seho certainly punched back and landed a couple of good body shots, particularly one near the end of the round, just to remind Max Seho that he's still there. Well, there's a Hall of Fame trainer in the other corner as well as Freddie Roach and Ishmael Salas, who's been so instrumental in the rise of Cuban boxing over the last couple of decades. Had some time with David Hay recently. And will be leading your Dennis Ugas into battle a little later on. First of all, he's got business to deal with here with Julio Seja, the Mexican in fight number 38, 132 of them. Two years older than Mark Magsayo, unbeaten in 22. Trying that uppercut again. Amazing that 
Say has only 28. They start so young in Mexico. Yeah, I mean, Maxeo looking classy here already at the start of this round. Already he's slipped outside the jab through the right-hand counter. He's backed off and landed a lovely left uppercut. Really good variety coming from him. Incredible story. Maxeo was inspired by Manny Pacquiao, and now he's his promotional stablemate and training companion. These things don't happen, do they? <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. They do in Hollywood, which is where he's based for so much of the time at the infamous wild card gym. Good left hook there from Seha. He's landed some good body shots as well in this round. Plenty of quality, Seha. Always liked him as a fighter was undefeated when he came over to fight Jamie McDonald. Brilliant win for the Doncaster man. But he went on to become a world champion. Still got plenty about him. And he's recovered well, hasn't he? Just to apply a bit of pressure on Maxayo. Yeah, I mean, this is a really good round here. It's round two. Seha landing good body shots, trying to stalk Maxayo. Good body work again. Yeah, lovely. Left and right to say how just trying to slow down the youngsters. He says, Come on, then. Inside the final minute of the second round, and say getting his boxing going. Yeah, good round here. Very competitive. Good. Now, that's nice left hand work there from Mike Seho, doubling up on the left hook, switching it from body, uh, sorry, from head to body. Sneaky right hand, though, through from Seha. Trying to use all his experience, back up the young Magsayo. Throwing with a sombrero, the proud Mexican. And a great deliverer of body shots, as so many are. Apart from the knockdown, he's had a good start here, Seha. Yeah, I think it's been a good round from him.